Even though I've been riding motorcycles for 11 years now, when I take this bike off the road, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I feel like a total and complete noob. Yes, like I started riding last week. Stay tuned because in this video, I'm going to show you how I plan to remedy this problem and hopefully inspire other people that are like me who might be lacking in the skills department. Welcome back. I'm Jess and this is my channel, Sound Mind Adventures. This is where I share my outdoor adventures with you in hopes of inspiring you to get out and create your own experiences for the purpose of maintaining and improving your emotional and mental well-being. So if you like these kind of videos, please consider subscribing. If you haven't done so already, hit that thumbs up and that little notification button. So I am really trying to grow this channel. So the more interaction that I get with viewers, the more YouTube is going to show my videos to people. That simply is how the algorithm works. So if you watched my last video, you know that my motorcycle background is on the street on a Harley Davidson. A few years ago, I decided that I wanted a lighter and more versatile bike that was going to take me to more interesting places. Previously, I had heard about these enduro bikes, dual sport bikes, motocross bikes, but the term adventure bike was new to me. Now, I did some research on YouTube, everything that I could find out about ADV bikes. I also had a colleague at work that rode a Honda CB500X, much like this one. Now, my colleague rode this bike everywhere. He rode regularly with a group of dual sport riders to the craziest, most insane places. So what did I do? I went down to my local Honda dealer and I checked out the CB500X that they had on the floor. I knew right away this was the bike for me and this was going to open up a whole new world for me, the world of adventure touring. Even if this motorcycle isn't cut out to be a true full-blown ADV bike in stock form, it is very capable, very versatile. And as I mentioned in my last video, there is suspension and wheel upgrades that you can install on this bike to make it a true ADV beast. About a year and a half ago, I took this bike off-road for the very first time. Now, I'm not going to lie, I got in way over my head. The person that I was riding with was very experienced, and I think didn't quite hear me when I said, first time. Now I have to credit my background in mountain bike riding and racing because that's the only reason that I was able to stay upright. I tell you that terrain was insane for a first timer and I felt like my heart was gonna jump right out of my chest. Now I learned how to ride a motorcycle by watching YouTube videos 11 years ago. I had no idea where the clutch was, throttle was, brakes were, no idea. So it was only natural that I went to YouTube to find out everything I could about riding my motorcycle off road. For those times when the pavement ends and I find myself in a situation where there's loose gravel, rocks, loose dirt under my tires, and I have to know what to do and how to handle that kind of terrain. If you ride a motorcycle, you know it's easy. As long as the train is flat, it's straight, and all you have to worry about is going forward but then things can get scary and even dangerous when you suddenly have to negotiate the harder stuff and you don't have the skills and abilities and the confidence to match the situation. Normally this time of year, I have started going on my motorcycle trips and camping in beautiful places. And I had intended on sharing that with everybody on YouTube. However, in Southern California, we are still under stay at home orders and that means we are not allowed to travel. So I decided that now was the perfect time to start practicing those basic off-road skills that will improve my confidence when I am able to get out there and enjoy my adventures. Now at the back of my property, there's a piece of unused land. This land is not developed. It's just got a bunch of rocks and sand and loose dirt. So I figured this is going to be the perfect area to practice my skills. Later this week, I will put down some cones and create a course where I can practice turns and various slow speed maneuvers. I welcome all constructive ideas and advice about things I should practice and learn or do differently. All I ask is that you be kind and don't be an elitist. I'm just learning 
and I'm trying to sort out all the different opinions that are out there on the internet about how to properly ride a motorcycle off-road, which includes sitting, standing, body position, all that fun stuff. With that, I'm going to show you some of the skills that I'm going to practice and how I'm going to set up my little practice course. Hopefully that's good enough. Alright. Two fingers on the clutch. Slow down, Roxy. We want to go slow. That's the point. Slow. I watched a video on YouTube. They want you to go slow enough so that your, your handlebars are going back and forth because of your because you're trying to keep your balance. And trying not to stall at the same time. Think about all these things at the same time. Probably should be going slower, I'm thinking. Relaxing my shoulders as much as I can. Looking where I want to go. Leaning forward over the controls. Going slow. Turning head. Slow down. Hopefully I looked a little better every time I went through. I'm gonna keep practicing this. Um, it's just gonna require a lot of patience. And we're just gonna practice balancing and feeling the bike. This video was inspired by a few of my favorite lady YouTubers who ride motorcycles who are not afraid of being transparent and sharing with all of us their riding challenges. Like Doodle on a motorcycle who just stepped out of her comfort zone and raised her motorcycle back up to its stock height. Doodle is out there practicing her skills on a tall bike and sharing her journey with all of us. Then there's Amanda from As the Magpie Flies. Amanda, you are awesome. Now what Amanda does is she documents her bike drops and she's not afraid to show us. As a matter of fact, she encourages us to document our own bike drops. The most important thing she does though is encourage a good attitude and I really appreciate that. And how can I not mention Nora Lee from Itchy Boots? Nora Lee travels the world on her motorcycle and recently, very courageously, put out a video of all her bloopers and close calls. And if you watch Itchy Boots, I'm sure you can agree that her smile and determination is so inspiring. And thank you to all the other lady riders out there who inspire me both in my real life and in my YouTube life. Now, in closing, Riding motorcycles is supposed to be fun. It is not meant to be stressful and anxiety inducing. Most of us ride motorcycles because it gives us a sense of freedom and puts us in touch with our aliveness. Now improving our basic skills both on and off the road will allow us to experience motorcycle riding as it is intended to be. Once again, I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, remember, please hit like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'm going to keep you posted on my skills progression. Until then, I will see you in the next video.